How you doing guys? This is Scott Mendelson coming at you again. Today we're going to talk about some superfoods, okay? I like to eat clean. I eat pre-contest bodybuilding pretty much all year long. I do occasionally cheat and have a pizza here and there, but I, I realized uh, throughout my competing that eating clean is the way to go. That's what will make you overall bigger, the best quality big that you can get, as well as feeling the best that you can be and then optimalizing your performance. So today, first we're gonna talk about salmon. Um, a lot of bodybuilders eat a lot of salmon uh, and fish because what happens is when you bodybuild, you need your metabolism to speed up to lean out that body fat. And what happens is you want, when you eat, especially the proteins, you don't wanna have a lot of proteins that sit in your system long. You want your metabolism to speed up. So the fish products in particular, they burn up really quickly. So that's the reason why we go with the fish product for pre-contest and contest building. Um, you know, you eat a serving of salmon. Salmon's high in fat, but it's the good fat that you need. And it's low in calories. It's 200 calories per serving. So by eating salmon, you speed your metabolism up because by the time the next meal kicks in, you want it to already be burning up out of your system. Okay? Check your soon. Another thing is vitamin C. You know, everybody hears vitamin C in their juice and vitamin C in their foods, and I don't think, really think people understand the true strength of what vitamin C can do, okay? Vitamin C, if you have a cold, it'll cut it in half. If you're sick, it'll help with recuperation. As far as muscle building and dieting and, and pretty much everything, vitamin C is a vital, vital part of life, okay? You know, everybody, you know, they promote like orange juice with large amounts of vitamin C. The bottom line is fruit really is pure sugar. And everybody's like, oh yeah, well, you know, I'm eating a lot of fruit and it's healthy and it's vitamins and it's this and that. Well, bottom line is your body is a processing center. There's no brain in your body. Your brain's above your body. It's in the top of your head and it reasons. But the bottom line is when you break down fruit, your body doesn't know whether it's fruit or a snicker bar. It just breaks down and it realizes sugar. And when you get sugar, what happens is, is your pancreas produces insulin. When that happens, you have body fat storage. So that's like why, why a lot of bodybuilders, what they'll do is they'll you know cut down on their carbs. Sugar is a carbohydrate, okay? It's a really crude carbohydrate. You know, there are a lot of components in sugar that are just so bad for you but the reason why sugar's around is because it's such a multi-trillion dollar business. There's a ton of sweeteners besides sugar that are good for you. Much better than sugar, okay? Um, so everybody that thinks they're eating healthy by eating all these fruits and everything, it's not what you think it is. You're actually hurting yourself by eating fruit, okay? And I love fruit. There's nothing like a mango that's cut up and, I mean, oh my God, I love that. But the bottom line is, when you're talking about optimal performance, it's not something that you want to do. I barely, rarely ever have fruit myself, okay? It's a treat, and that's how I treat it, okay? Um, so I do about five to 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C per day. And, you know, as far as recuperation, when you do a heavy, heavy workout, whether it's heavy with weight or heavy in intensity, you're breaking down your body. And what happens is, when you break down a muscle, it's like you tear the muscle fiber. Like if I'm doing a bicep workout, I'll squeeze in and then I get that pump in my biceps. Well, what I'm doing to build is I'm tearing that muscle fiber, okay? And basically it bleeds and then it scabs and it heals and then I do it again. And then it scabs and it heals and I do it again over and over and that's what builds up the muscle, okay? So you gotta understand that the recuperation time also, and I know I'm kind of skipping around here, but it's just, I'm sort of realizing what I'm supposed to be saying to you. So the recuperation time between a workout is six days, theoretically, because you want that muscle tear to heal in order to tear it down again, okay? So by doing too many workouts, if you're doing chest every other day or you're doing biceps every other day, you're actually overtraining. And it's like if you were cut on your arm and every other day you took your finger and you scratched that cut, what would happen to that cut? It would never heal. So you gotta give it that healing time and leave it alone and let it do its thing, okay? 
So anyway, the vitamin C helps dramatically in that recovery as well. So please, 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 more vitamin C. Now, even though I told you that fruits are major, major sugar, if you have to have fruit and you're looking for that vitamin C, don't go with a glass of orange juice. One kiwi gives a daily allowance of vitamin C. One little kiwi, that's how loaded with vitamin C it is. So if you're gonna do that, kiwi is the best way to go. Now, as far as my personal favorite for carb intake, if you're not gonna do rice, potatoes are very, very starchy. What I do is a sweet potato or a yam, okay? And the reason why I do sweet potatoes is it breaks down slower, okay? When you eat, and you eat carbs, and you're talking about performance, if you eat a carbohydrate like a potato that's super, super starchy, it breaks down immediately and it floods your pancreas, and your pancreas is overtaken with sugar, and then you don't get the proper you know, uh, production. You get too much insulin. You want something that kind of like feeds it slowly so it doesn't overdo insulin production for, for body fat. You want it to actually metabolize in your body and you want the food to work for you, okay? So I'll go with yams um, on that. I use yams to lean out with a more minimal amount. I use yams to bulk up. You know, I've gained 20 pounds in a week on yams, but just, you know, super large amounts, okay? So yams are really, really good for you, great for you. Eat the skin. I eat the skin on all my yams. I, 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 my, I personally microwave my yams till it's just squishy. I put a little country crock in there with some sour cream, mix it up. It's unbelievable and you can't stop eating it. So it's great. It's also great with a protein. You know, my personal favorite is, you know, you, you use your vegetables. You, I do the goulash thing. So um, go ahead. The yams are incredible and uh, that's a tip from me to you today. And beans. Beans happen to be a great source of protein and carbohydrates. Um, Lentil beans um, have a great source. High, they're 18 grams of protein per serving. So if you mix them with rice and, a, and, a, and an animal protein, you get a complete meal out of it by having those three things combined together. You can put vegetables in it and so forth, and you'll get everything you need for your daily allowance by eating that all day long. I, some people can eat the same thing all day long. Some people need to bury things. But when you look at food as far as a performance factor, you know, it's like gas in your car. You just put the gas in and, and you, you drive, you know what I mean? So I just put the food in and I perform. So, you know, beans are a really good source of, of pretty much everything. So go with that. Let's talk about eggs. Eggs are a complete food. You could basically survive off of an egg if you had to. Um, people have the misconception that they're going to get too much cholesterol from eating eggs. Um, and there have been write-ups for years about it, how don't eat the yolks. Um, I, I tend to stay away from yolks myself. If I have 10 eggs, I'll throw two yolks in it, uh, just for the flavor and everything. But the protein, there's six grams of protein in an egg, um, and I've eaten up to 40 eggs in a day. Um, it's an incredible food. It supplies you also with choline, which basically gives you the brain function and the memory. So I think that's pretty good to have, you know what I mean? You want to remember, you want to be in healthy. So, uh, you know, go with the egg. I, I really fully agree with the egg. A lot of bodybuilders live and breathe off eggs. First meal of the day when they wake up, they'll have, you know, 10 egg whites with uh, some oatmeal or, or whatever. So it's a really big protein stable. So I'm Scott Mendelson. I believe in eggs. Well guys, I just wanted to talk to you about superfoods today. I picked five of them out that I use and I believe in. And I mean, you can go online and look up other ones. I just picked the five out of my head that I could discuss with you. And hopefully you learned something and uh, stay tuned for more with Scott Mendelson. Bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you click away, I want you to subscribe, like, comment, hell, even dislike if you want to. At least do something before you get out of here.